Hello, I'm Mary Ellen Iskandarian from Women's World Banking. As the world grapples with the most disruptive and dangerous pandemic of our lifetimes, the inequalities millions of people face daily are being exposed. It is widely accepted that the pandemic could have devastating impacts in low and middle income countries and inequality within these countries will intensify as a result. The stark truth remains while many vulnerable groups are affected, it is women who will continue to feel the longer term economic and societal consequences. Women comprise up to 70% of frontline health workers globally as doctors, nurses, midwives, and community health workers. Women and girls everywhere are at the forefront of those marginalized, earning less, saving less, with insecure or disappearing livelihoods in this crisis. Women are also facing reduced access to health services and the incidence of gender-based violence is increasing exponentially. This is why, as a member of the Council on Scaling Women-Owned Businesses, I welcome the publication of this report, How to Rebuild Global Business for Good. It could not be more timely Everywhere women are running micro, small, and medium-sized businesses, the greatest engines of both economic growth and job creation. Yet there is a $1.7 trillion unmet credit need for women entrepreneurs globally. Economic shocks like those caused by COVID seriously set back these businesses and prevent their owners from continuing to support their families and their communities. This report highlights some of the obstacles that women-owned businesses face. Lack of legal forms of identification, legal barriers to opening, owning property, and data that doesn't distinguish between men and women, making them invisible as members of the financial system. However, the report also suggests ways to support inclusive economic growth during and after COVID-19 by leveraging the power of women-owned businesses as innovators and job creators. Women are central to the management of the pandemic from the highest levels of political office to the caregivers on the front lines. Holding women back is no way to drive an economic recovery. For 40 years, Women's World Banking has been empowering economies by investing in women. We will continue to lend our voice through initiatives like this report until we have achieved gender equality around the world. Thank you to my fellow council members for this important piece of work.